Okay, hi everybody. Um, this is Stephanie here from the Five Waiting Wombs. I haven't been on for a long time. <laughs> um, so I am kind of, I guess, trying to get back in the loop of making videos and uh, discussing the latest issues. And um, So this week, uh, one of our viewers wrote in and had stated that um, her doctor told her that she had to lose about 80 pounds in order to um, have a better chance of conceiving and she also said that she had PCOS. Now I have PCOS as most of you know. Sorry my dog is totally being sucky right now. Um, and I also am a larger sized woman. <laughs> so I can understand the frustration. Um, so basically, you know, we can't, she basically wanted to know what our opinion was on the whole weight issue thing. And basically nobody can just tell you, um, that weight is the reason for your PCOS or the reason for your infertility alone. Weight does contribute, but it is not the only issue. And if you have a doctor who tells you to just go off and lose weight and then come back to them, then frankly, you need to get a new doctor or a second opinion. Um, and if you're a Canadian and you're saying, well, I need a referral from my family doctor, and this is my family doctor, listen, there are fertility clinics out there who will accept a self-referral. My family doctor told me that I was, first of all, too young to get pregnant, and that I should just go and lose weight and come back to her in six months. Now... I did not accept that because I knew that there was something wrong with my body and it had to do more, like it had to do with more than just weight. I understood, yes, that I could stand to lose a few pounds, but hey, there are other issues going on that are affecting me, like period, like irregular periods and other things like that. So what I did was I sought a second opinion. I went through the yellow pages and I looked up fertility clinics, fertility specialists, and I just made phone calls. And I found an awesome fertility clinic that said that they would take a self-referral, so I didn't need a referral from my doctor. So I went and saw her and she treated me with so much respect, so much, like she was awesome basically. And I just felt so good with her and I was so happy to find her. So anyways, the point is, on the weight issue, it's been shown that weight probably plays about less than 10% of um, a role in infertility. So that's really not a whole lot. But let's, let's, you know, let's talk about weight and let's talk about the issue that it does play. Because we can't just laugh and turn our heads and pretend like it doesn't play any of an issue. Because... It does, okay? Basically, if you are overweight, then the fat cells in your body are secreting estrogen. And if you are overweight, it means that you'll be producing too much estrogen. And that basically makes your body, um, like it basically, it's kind of like being on birth control. It makes your body, because you have too much estrogen, it's making your body think that it's on birth control, basically. It, or it acts that way, and so it will affect ovulation. <coughs> Sorry. And I think that this also plays a role in women with PCOS, because that's what happens with us. <laughs> um, so this is going to affect ovulation. Not necessarily in every woman, every woman but in some women it will it will do that so it is a good idea to try to lose weight if you are trying to conceive and you are overweight it just 
I mean, it may help, it may not, but it is a good idea. It's not only a good idea for your fertility, but it's just a good idea for your health period. Okay, and listen, I'm preaching to the choir because, listen, I struggle with being overweight, and I have for the last three years, and I know what it's like, ladies. It's hard. It really is. But it, it, it does really help, and... So I would suggest that if you are overweight and you are trying to conceive and having trouble, you know, maybe losing weight, you know, who knows? Maybe it might help a little. Now, that's not considering all the other issues surrounding infertility, which are a lot, which may be, you know, other things that are not related to your weight. So, you know, weight is not necessarily to be assumed the only issue in your infertility and if your doctor will not treat you just because of that you need to get a second opinion so secondly women who are underweight it doesn't just affect overweight women it affects women who are underweight too if you are underweight that means that your body will not be producing enough estrogen so that will also cause ovulation or menstruation to even stop completely so that also affects fertility. So if you are underweight, it would help to gain, you know, a little bit of weight. And I'm not saying go overboard and, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, you know, basically in general, it's good to be at a healthy body weight. So, um, so yeah, that's what I have to say on the whole weight issue. Those are the facts. Really, honestly and truthfully... Weight only plays a role about 10% of the time. So you can't just say that weight is the issue, but let's just say it this way. Weight may or may not play a role. Either way, in general, it's good to be at a healthy body weight just for your health, okay? So that's my opinion on the whole weight issue. Um, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I don't mean to. Trust me, I struggle with weight myself, and I know that this is a very taboo, kind of hard issue to discuss. And I know it frustrates a lot of women, and I don't mean to frustrate any women. I'm just kind of bringing you the facts as far as what I've researched on the internet and what I know. Um, and so, I hope that helps, guys, and take care. Bye.